And the other thing it's good for is to improve exercise and endurance. Endurance? Endurance. Endurance. <laughs> What's up beautiful souls, my name is Karina and today I'm going to be talking about the health benefits of the fruit pomegranate. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So as we all hopefully know, pomegranate is a fruit and it is a very, very praised fruit, especially when it comes to ancient cultures and the Greek mythology of gods and goddesses and all the different types of gods and goddesses when it comes to other types of cultures that date back way in ancient times. I will get into some of that juiciness in a second, but first let's talk about the origin. So pomegranate originates in Iran and northern India, and the scientific name for this, which I'm going to butcher as always, I think it's called Punica Gra. Uh, no idea but as always it will be right here and so the seasons kind of depend on the different types of hemispheres if you're in the northern hemisphere the season starts from October and then all the way through February so northern hemisphere if you live in like the America the North America side um, now is the season for pomegranate and you bet your bottoms I have been eating my pomegranates have you now let's jump into the southern hemisphere so if you live in the southern hemisphere the season for that will be in March and then end in May. So in most cultures, especially ancient cultures, pomegranate is known for fertility. It symbolizes fertility. It's great for women according to those ancient traditions. And then of course, some of the health benefits that I will get into, you can see the connection as to why they thought it was great for fertility and why you would think that it's good for women because it all just kind of comes together and makes sense in my opinion. But Yes, this is the fruits of fertility, especially, of course, for women. And it's great for women reproductive system. Now, I'm sure most of you know your Greek mythology. If you don't, then you need to go back and research that. But I remember learning this way back in grade school and being super fascinated. I'm just really fascinated by Greek mythology and just that ancient period, just ancient periods in general of all cultures. But uh, Greek mythology is just really, really cool to me. And I remember learning about Persephone. She later on became the goddess of the underworld because Hades, who is the king of of the underworld or the god of the underworld um, kidnapped Persephone. He took her to the underworld and made her become his wife. So Hades actually tricked Persephone into eating pomegranate seeds. He gave it to her like for a duration of time and she would eat them and that basically symbolized that their marriage and their union and that bond was forever lasting. Like she could never leave him after she ate these pomegranate seeds. So you could tell that that it has to do with marriage, it has to do with fertility, it has to do with, you know, all, all that stuff that kind of like brackets into one if you think about it from a big umbrella standpoint. Now, pomegranate is very highly praised in Ayurveda as well as it would make sense because it originates in Northern India. And so then obviously like, you know, Ayurveda, India, yes, makes sense. Um, so they use it a lot in Ayurveda for digestive issues as well as other things, but mainly digestion health. It's super, super beneficial for for the digestion which I will get more into in a second and then as I stated it's used worldwide in all cultures um, ancient cultures and now present-day modern cultures and they it is used in the culinary arts in like you know cuisines all across the board each culture has their own dishes um, targeted towards you know pomegranate seeds where whether they you know put it in a savory dish or make something sweet out of it it, it all just depends Pens, and then they all have their different symbolizations towards uh, pomegranate as well as their own um, perception as to what pomegranate means to them. Personally, I think pomegranate is a bitch to peel. I don't know about y'all if you've ever peeled pomegranate. Um, <laughs> it is so tedious and it gets everywhere no matter how careful you are like I've watched videos where they're like oh you need to peel it underwater or you need to peel it in some weird contraption no that shit don't work it still goes everywhere like no joke there's like red splashes it stains everything like no 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 but honestly if you want fresh pomegranates which I personally love fresh pomegranates there's nothing that's gonna beat it um you know the pre 
pomegranate seeds are just I'm not about that life you know chef <laughs> here hello so you know you got to eat it fresh you got to eat it from its actual fruit and break it down itself by yourself so peel a pomegranate at least once in your life I challenge you because it is a challenge real quick before we get back into this video if you're enjoying it give it a thumbs up comment down below share subscribe follow me on social media turn on post notifications and other than that let's get back into it but what I love to do with pomegranate is I love making pomegranate juice that's my favorite way of consuming pomegranate now I ain't about those pomegranate juices that you can buy from the store like pre-made pre-ready made whatever they have so much sugar in them like added sugar like absolutely not I just like the natural sugar from the fruit itself it's sweet enough if you get it in season and it's like you know good quality um, so yeah just you know at least experience that once if you haven't because those juices are just super sugary they're not good for you they're not going to serve you they're literally going to spike your blood sugar levels at least with the natural sugars like yes it will spike a little bit but it's better than the added sugar and all of that jazz so fun fact people actually have a phobia towards pomegranate the inside of a pomegranate it's called tripophobia i think that's how you say it but basically it's a phobia of um irregular patterns or um clusters or small like holes or bumps of uh, certain things if you look it up you'll find more of these little things that people have phobias of like it's just absolutely disgusting I never heard of this phobia I never had a phobia towards this but once Kendall Jenner said it and then I looked it up I literally almost had a heart attack and I low-key no joke have a phobia of this like it's absolutely cringy but uh we're just gonna keep that on the DL because <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I have a phobia towards it because the moment I acknowledge that it will happen and I, I don't have a phobia towards it but honestly I do think about it for a second once I see certain things that look like this phobia and it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies so we all have Kendall Jenner to thank for that so thank you Kendall Jenner for um, making me cringe every time I see the inside of a pomegranate and other things that look Look creepy crawly like that so let's go ahead and get into some of these health benefits so it's high in fiber it's a good source of protein a good source of vitamin C vitamin K potassium folate so again with women's health folate is very very important we need um, you know more folate than males obviously through just our general design and obviously when you you know go through um, natural motions of life like if you are in childbearing years or if you are pregnant or having a child whatever you need folate so it's great natural source of folate so again great for women and it's high in antioxidants which is super super beneficial again vitamin c antioxidants and then it's great for immunity all kind of tie in together it's also anti-inflammatory so it's going to help reduce all inflammation so arthritis joint pain any other type of inflammation in the body systemic or localized as well as it being great for heart disease and heart health so not always but you know eight out of ten you know depending on certain situations but when you look at a certain food and the colors or what it mimics it's kind of good for that so when you think of red obviously you think heart so you know win-win situation or you get the correlation red heart it's good for the heart that's how I kind of you know pinpoint things and look at things and then obviously the shape shape can also matter in food you use food as medicine as Hippocrates said other things it's good for is type 2 diabetes lowering blood pressure Alzheimer's and then cancer it's supposed to have cancer fighting properties or fight cancer and the two main ones are prostate and breast cancer so it's not only beneficial for women it's actually beneficial for males too like significantly but more towards women and fertility than men but it does have great benefit for men as well and speaking of men it's great for erectile dysfunction and then also it's really good for sexual performance and sexual health and reproductive health like I mentioned and then with it being good for Alzheimer's, it's great to improve memory. So again, brain cognitive, really good for neurodegenerative or just neuro health. It's going to be antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. So really help 
fight infection. It's gonna help with digestion. Like I mentioned, Ayurveda uses it heavily on digestion, but specifically IBS, IBD, like the more serious ones, but then also just maintenance for digestion. But if you have like leaky gut, Crohn's, colitis, those sorts of things, it's also very good for um, especially the juice, the pomegranate juice, because it's very easy on the digestive system. The seeds can actually be very high roughage. Um, so that's why I like blending it. And the other thing it's good for is exercise performance or endurance performance, um, especially if you're an athlete or if you're wanting to, you know, get more endurance or, you know, help with your strength, your vigor, all that good stuff. It may help with that. I would say just overall energy. It's really good for energy and just boosting energy in my thought process because when you think about exercise performance or endurance or like strength, you need that energy. So that is my little spiel on pomegranates. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, turn on post notifications. And other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Health and peace.